The Bible says, Come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. Being heavily laden can be a state of hurt, it can be a state of pain or anger, whatever the case may be, God said you should come to him. Let me tell you, surely the Lord understands your pain and your fears. He sees the times you have wept in the secret he knows. He knows your name, he knows your every thought. He sees each that fall and he hears you when you call. So whenever you are hurt, talk to God, he is your maker and he will understand you better than anyone would. I know that it always seems like God will not understand so many times, you just tend to lock up your feelings instead of telling God, but let me remind you of what God told us in his word. He said, Call unto me and I will answer, and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know of. The Lord was clear with his instruction. Do not listen to what the devil will have to tell you in times of pain. It is baffling how people would prefer to share their problems with other people or they tell God some of their problems and leave the rest thinking they will get the solution from a fellow man. The truth is, man can and will fail you, so it is better to put your trust in the person who will never break it. Human beings tend to share what you told them with another, but God, the one who holds the universe in his hands can keep what has been told to him and help you out also. It doesn't matter the kind of pain, it may be a disappointment, it may be that your friend hurt you and said some mean things to you, it could even come from the people you love, your family, wherever it comes from, when you are hurt, talk to God, he understands and he will answer you when you call. The truth is you can do little or nothing about your pain and hurt, so it is easier to tell your problems to God who can help you. When you run from God in seasons of challenge, all you're left with is your limited ability to cope with what you're walking through, and by strength, you cannot prevail. On the other hand, God invites us to draw near to Him that we might experience His peace, healing, and closeness, and this is what scripture points us towards. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Psalm chapter 34 verse 18, He will rescue you when you call on Him. Don't be afraid or ashamed of the situation you are in. Don't beat yourself too much. Free yourself from the burden you are carrying. The Bible in Psalms chapter 147 verse 3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Like our need for a doctor to address physical wounds to our body, God desires to conduct divine surgery on our soul, which results in supernatural healing despite how difficult our challenge. When we bring our pain to God, we recognize that there is a purpose and in time, the one who loves us unconditionally will reveal his divine purpose through it. You cannot do it all by yourself when you feel the thinnest bit of hurt. Run to the loving arms of God, because he cares for us more than you can think of. I know that sometimes you may be wondering if you should tell God or if it is even necessary to tell God your pain. Stop wondering, because God is interested in you. I mean, he came and sacrificed himself for our sins. Why wouldn't he care for you? Why wouldn't he answer when we call? When you were hurt, talk to God. Because if you keep it to yourself, you will probably not find solutions to it, and you will continue to be hurting and probably self-destruct. There is an adage that says a problem shared is a problem half solved, but with God, a problem shared is a problem completely solved. Don't doubt the capability of God to help you out. How we respond to pain and suffering is critical to how we process what's happening and how healing will take place. If you treat physical fitness with inappropriate medication, not only will your sickness continue, but it could become worse. It is like a child who falls and wounds himself. The child will try to run to his mother or his father. Why? Because he believes that his parents will have a solution to his problem. That is the same thing with God, when we hurt, he expects us to run back to him. Listen to the promise of God in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The Lord has already promised that his peace will keep your heart. In the middle of hurt, what most people look for is peace, and God has promised that he will give you peace. 
the word of the Lord does not come and return to him void without accomplishing that which it was sent to do. Taste and see that the Lord is good. O oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Psalms chapter 34 verse 8. Just try him in these things and see if he doesn't come through. You must come to a point where you understand that you cannot be hurt forever. The Bible said weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. What has caused you to weep? What has caused you to sleep this night? Turn it over to God. He knows best how to handle it because you cannot do it by your strength. The thing is the hurt you are feeling does not even have to be inflicted on you by another. It could be because of a wrong decision or something you have done. So whether your pain is the result of relationship challenges, financial struggle, health diagnosis or anxiety about the future, no one thing. When you begin to worship the Lord through your struggle, spiritual chains begin to break so that you aren't ruled by your circumstance, but you set your sights on something higher. This is why Paul and Silas could praise when chained in prison. God is the Lion and the Lamb, a loving Father and a consuming fire, one who can consume all your fears, your pain, and your shame, and loving draw you right back into His arms. What sort of love can be higher than this? We are not left hopeless. We know where to run to in times of need and trouble. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. Run to God today with all the hurt you are passing through today and tell Him everything. And believe that He can help you just like the woman with the issue of blood. She said if she could only touch the hem of God's garment, she will be made whole and that was what happened to her. What is the lie in your heart I encourage you today to reach out and touch the hem of God's garment? The thing is if you don't talk to God, what will you do with the herd? Know today that you are not alone in the midst of it all. God has promised that He'll be there when you need Him most. Jesus said in John chapter 14 that we will be never left alone, that we would send the Holy Spirit to be with us and to give us peace. Also, understand that God feels what you feel. Have you ever been in a painful situation and talked to someone then realized the other person has gone through exactly what you're facing? Something about that connection offers encouragement and strengthens you. Jesus came to this earth and lived a human life. Given the culture that he grew up in, he was probably judged and talked about. So he understands. He had disciples who had betrayed him. He was mocked. He suffered pain, shame, and later hanged on a cross. So I can assure you today that God understands where you are coming from. Jesus went through what you're facing and he felt the things that you're feeling. That's why the Bible says we can go to him with confidence. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are. Yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews chapter 4 verses 15 to 16. Let me just say that whatever degree of pain you are feeling today, it will be over soon. The Lord already told us He will never leave us, nor will He forsake us. Has He said a thing and it didn't come to pass? Has He promised and failed not at all? When you are heard, talk to God because He cares and He wants to listen to you.